We have some social media questions for Dr. Jeffrey Schwartz. John Jr. Muniz on Facebook. Does it work with all humans? And what's the age to start trying to change habits as they form? Okay, that, okay. I would say that um, certainly by around age eight, nine, 10, but certainly into 12, 13, 14. So once you get into adolescence, a difficult period, you know, we know that, you know, the brain is still in formation, but the advantage of that is that it's a, the brain is particularly susceptible and more easily rewired during that time. So learning to consult your wise advocate learning self-management skills in early into adolescence will rewire your brain as you grow up to, to sort of nip a lot of problems in the bud. And, and, then, and then your brain will start working for you and not against you more readily. And, and so, so it, it's about consulting your wise advocate, being mindful. Austin Kelly on Facebook asks, why do some people tend to think more irrational thoughts than others? Okay, again, that's, that's that combination of, you know, brain and, 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 and upbringing. I mean, I'm not going to deny. I mean, once I tell you that obsessive compulsive disorder has a hugely strong genetic determinant, you're going to know that some of these bad thoughts have nothing to do with the person as an individual. That's really important to understand. I mean, we coined the term, it's not me, it's just my brain to describe, I have to wash again, I have to wash again when I know my hands are clean. That's not a good thought, but it's not you, it, it's your brain. But then, on, but then there's the evaluative component, and I would say the big, the big point is consulting the wife advocate so that you ask for guidance. You know, is this consistent with my long-term well-being? Is this consistent with my family, my community's long-term well-being? And then modulating your behavior accordingly. James Jeffries on the Larry King Now blog. How do we break the habit of constantly being on our smartphones? Is there a healthy way to use them? Oh, well, of course there's a healthy way to use them. I mean, you, Larry, you said the question. I mean, if you are asking yourself, who's the boss, me or this smartphone, and you really think about the answer to that question and take it seriously, I would say that question that you raised, which I had never heard put that way before you said it, is a key entry point into healthy use of smartphones. Just keeping in mind, Who's in charge here, me or this smartphone? And answering that question honestly, having self-transparency, which means consulting your wife advocate. If you can say, no, no, I'm the boss. I mean, I'm using this cell phone. This cell phone isn't using me. What happens when the phones get smarter and smarter? Well, I'm, I worry about that. <laughs> I do worry about that. I, I, I feel like we have to have a lot of wisdom as a society before... I would say be careful about those who say that the machines are going to have better answers, the machines are going to make human intelligence sort of obsolete. And there are people and powerful people and very smart people who say that. So I would say that's a very dangerous thing and be, let's be careful about that. Amy Innes on the Larry King Now blog. What do people find the hardest thing to change? Okay, I mean, look, we've gotten all this far. Let's say a few words about substance abuse. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's a, it's a huge problem. I mean, it, it, look. Change is hard. Change is hard, and, 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 and substance abuse, you know, especially with the very powerful drugs like cocaine, methamphetamine, and obviously opiates now, everyone is completely aware, they cause changes in the brain that makes self-control much, much, much harder. So, so, so that's, when you talk about the hardest things, when you are having a, an addiction problem with something that every time you take it makes your brain more and more enslaved, that's, talk about vicious cycle. That's a very, very, very vicious cycle. And, and so those are among the hardest problems to change. But, but they are changeable. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.